Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake, partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings are remembered, remembered. Our, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is, which is to be to ours. ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist, Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. death. May our, our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us. And the, the peace of the kingdom, kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Spirit God, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for, for forth we beseech you, Lord, Lord, your grace, grace into, into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the, the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third a joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise, Despise not, not our petitions in our, our necessities, necessities but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the, of the Holy Rosary, Rosary of, of the Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. 
He has clothed him in his splendid garment. Let us pray, Father, you entrusted our Savior, our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. We let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your, By your will, O God, God, in your Lord, name, O Lord. Lord. Amen. Our, La Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is Monday in the third week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my and mouth shall declare your praise. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise, giving thanks to him, and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love, he is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Please be seated. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the counts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. 
They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roots to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it to the place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Tune your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall dream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose term on many peoples. They shall beat their sword into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise this word against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his our majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in his place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church, and since without you she cannot stand secure, may she be always governed by your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Naaman, the army commander of the king of Aram, was highly esteemed and respected by his master, for through him the Lord had brought victory to Aram. 
but valiant as he was, the man was a leper. Now the Arameans had captured in a raid on the land of Israel a little girl who became the servant of Naaman's wife. If only my master would present himself to the prophet in Samaria, she said to her mistress, he will cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went and told his lord just what the slave girl from the land of Israel had said. Go, said the king of Aram. I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman set out, taking along ten silver talents, six thousand gold pieces, and ten festal garments. To the king of Israel, he brought the letter, which read, With this letter, I am sending my servant Naaman to you that you may cure him of his leprosy. When he read the letter, the king of Israel tore his garments and exclaimed, Am I a god with power over life and death, that this man should send someone to me to be cured of leprosy? Take note, you can see he is only looking for a quarrel with me. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his garments, he sent word to the king. Why have you torn your garments? Let him come to me and find out that there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. The prophet sent him the message, Go and wash seven times in the Jordan and your flesh will heal, and you will be clean. But Naaman went away angry, saying, I thought that he would surely come out and stand there to invoke the Lord his God, and would move his hand over the spot, and thus cure the leprosy. Are not the river of Damascus, the Abana, and the Farfar better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be cleansed? With this, he turned about in anger and left. But his servants came up and reasoned with him. My father, they said, if the prophet had told you to do something extraordinary, would you not have done it? All the more now, since he said to you, wash and be clean, should you do as he said? So Naaman went down and plunged into the Jordan seven times at the word of the man of God. His flesh became again like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. He returned with his whole retinue to the man of God. On his arrival, he stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> Our thirst is my soul for the living God, when I shall go and behold the face of God. A As thirst is my soul for the living God, when shall I go and behold the face of God? As the hen longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Send for your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? Please stand.
I hope in the Lord, I trust in His word. With Him there is kindness and plenteous redemption. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Sarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Charity begins at home. Unfortunately, it does not always happen that way. The Holy Scriptures recorded the first crimes to happen among the family members themselves. The first recorded murder happened between brothers. Cain killed Abel. Pinatay ni Cain si Abel. Yung lukuhan, denggoyan, sa pera, sa kayamanan, si Jacob, niloko yung kanyang kapatid ni si, na si Esau. Sama na nila sa kanilang ama. Si, ang unang human trafficking ay nangyari sa magkakapatid. Pinagbili bilang alipin ng mga kapatid ni Jose, si Jose sa mga taga-Ehipto. Kaya makikita nyo, ha, ang unang illegal recruiters, yung mga magkakapatid. Pinagtrabaho bilang OFW, yung kanilang kapatid sa ibang bansa, illegal. Ginawang alipin at binusabos. So you will see that all this happened likewise in the family. Magkakapatid, magkakamag-anak, Kaya kapag ka tinawag kayong kapatid, nenerbusing kayo. Kapatid, kapatid, oh, ano ibig sabihin yan? Ano, nenerbusing kayo ako kaya eh, papatayin ito, lulukohin kaya ako nito, ipagbibili kaya ako nito. Oh, kaya sa hinaba-haba ng aking pagsisilbi bilang counselor, ano, yung mga humingi ng payo sa akin, kadalasan sa bandang huli, umiiyak. Ano sinasabi? Bakit kapatid ko pa? Kapatid ko pa? O, ano, ano sagot ko? Eh, sino pa ba? Kapatid? Kamag-anak? Kababayan? O. O, kaya dito sa Ebanghelyo natin, tingnan nyo, umuwi si Kristo sa kanyang mga kababayan, kamag-anak, kapamilya. Ha? Hindi siya tinanggap ng maluwag. Sino ba yan? No, yan? Sa ibang mga bayan ay tinuturing siyang propeta. Nung bumalik siya sa bayan nila, ay sino ba yan? Anak lang naman ni Jose yan. Eh. Oh, yan. Minaliit siya. Eh bakit? Eh mga kamag-anak. Mga kapamilya. Anong ginawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Tingnan nyo, oh, tinangkapa siya, no? naihulog sa bangin. Oh. Nakakapagtaka ba yun? Kung babasahin nyo mga nangyari sa lumang tipan, magkakapatid, sabi ko sa inyo, nagpapataya, naglulukuhan. Binibenta ang isa't isa. Okay. 
at pinagbibili. O oh, ayan, eh ano. Ano ginawa si Panginoon Heso Kristo? Gumante? Hindi, nagpasensya. Nagpasensya siya. Wala kayong narinig sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na pinagmumura yung mga kamag-anak niya, ang kanyang mga kapamilya at kababayan. Hmm? Maari niyang gawin kung ano gawin niyang paghihiganti. No? Patamaan ng kidlat, no? mga tao niya. No? Hanggang sa maging abo. So, pwede yung gumante, Panginoon, ng malupit. Pero hindi, nagpasensya na lang siya. Eh, ganun lang kasi eh. Ang dapat natin ginag inuugali sa kapatid. Hindi natin mapipili yung kamag-anak, hindi natin mapipili yung kababayan, hindi natin mapipili yung kapamilya. Bipili niyo ba 'yan? Kaya ano gagawin mo lang diyan kapag ka gumawa ng masama sa iyo, eh patawarin, pagpasensyahan. Bakit? Mahal mo. Kahit gaano kasama ang kapatid mo, hindi mo maitatakwil yan. Ginuhit na ng tadhana yan. Kapatid mo yan, nakakapamili ba tayo ng kapatid? Kaya tatanggapin mo na lang yan. Pagpapasensyahan mo, patatawarin mo. Pag bumalik, tatanggapin. O yan. Pasensya. Bakit? Kapatid mo. Mahal mo. Kaya nga si San Pablo, nung sinabi niya kung ano ang pagmamahal, paano niya sinabi kung ano ang pagmamahal? Unang-unang katangian ng pagmamahal. Love is patient. Ang pag-ibig ay pasensyoso. Pagmahal mo, pinagpapasensyahan mo. O, ayan. Yung asawa niyo, no? Dalampot limang taon, dalampot limang taon na kayo nagsasama o higit pa, limang pun taon na. O ano 'yan? Ano ang dahilan lang niyan? Pinagpasensyahan niyo. Nung nililigawan kayo niyan, eh matikas 'yan, no? Kala mo kabalyero 'yan. Oh. Nagniningning, no? sa kakisigan, eh pero pagdaan ng panahon, nakikita mo na lahat ang factory defects. Hindi mo naman maisole sa factory, sa pagkatangkasal, no return, no exchange. O ano gagawin mo? Pagpasensyahan. Kaya nga nakatagal kayo ng ganyang katagal. Bakit? Pinagpasensyahan. At kayo naman, oh, kayo be, walang Kakulangan. Lagi ba kayong makinis? Lagi ba kayong maganda? Lagi ba kayong mabango? Oh, masarap ba kayong yakapin lagi? Ha? Ah? Aba kayo tumatanda, nag-aamoy lupa na kayo. Oh, pero nando pa rin yung asawa niyo. Bakit? Pinagpapasensyahan kayo. Yung mga anak niyo, masarap bang yakapin yan? Kung sanggol, oo. Oh, oh. Pero habang yan ay lumalaki, sumasagot na sa inyo, nagdadabog na, ang sarap ng sakalin. Pagpapasensyahan. O gano'n ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Pasensya! At nagbunga naman yung kanyang pagpapasensya. Yung ibang mga, ah, maraming kamag-anak niya, naniwala sa kanya sa bandang huli. Isa nga, naging apostoles pa niya. Si James the Less, o oh, isa yan, pinsan niya yun. Si San Pablo mismo, nagkukwento nung siya pumunta sa Jerusalem para tagpuin. Yung unang komunidad ng mga Kristiyano, maraming nakita siya kamag-anak ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Naniwala rin sa bandang huli yung mga kamag-anak. Maghihintay ka lang. Magpapasensya ka lang. Give them chance. Not only once, twice, thrice. You cannot give up on hope on your brothers. Isa lang ang dahilan kung bakit mo tatanggapin. Kapatid ko yan. O dito sa simbahan, o yan ang ating tawagan. 
Mga kapatid, hindi ba napapansin? Mga kapatid, pagkatapos ko sabihin ng kapatid, ano yung susunod na kadasal? I confess to Almighty God. Humihingi ka tayo ng kapatawad sapagkat lagi tayo nag-aaway. Hindi niyo ba nahalata sa simbahan? Pagkatapos na sabihin ko dito sa misa, mga kapatid, ano susunod na dasal? Panginoon, maawa ka, Kristo, maawa ka. Kawaan mo kami sapagkat kami makasalanan. Charity begins at home. But unfortunately, the brothers and the sisters are sinners that need to be taught how to love each other. And it starts with being patient and forgiving. Oh. Kaya kayo yung mga hindi nyo kasama dito hindi nagsisimba na ang dahilan, ang dami ko lamang nakikitang makasalanan sa simbahan. Bakit ako magsisimba? Eh, kaya nga eh. Ano ba makikita mo sa simbahan kundi mga makasalanan? Sino? Magkakapatid. Eh, magkakapatid. Nag-aaway. Kaya una natin dasal, ano? I confess. Una natin dasal. Bakit? Magkakapatid. Ba't sila na iskandalo? Kaya nga tinatag ang simbahan dahil para sa makasalanan. Kaya dito, pag nagpunta kayo, puro makasalanan makikita nyo. Magmula sa pare, ang gandun sa nangungulekta. Lahat yan, puro makasalanan. Kung gusto nyo makakita ng kasama nyo, puro santo't santa, at sabihin nyo kay Lord, Lord, kunin nyo na po ako. Sa langit nyo lang makikita ng mga kasama nyo, puro santo't santa. Kaya yung mga nagsasabi, ah, oh, yung simbahan, makasalanan, ah, sakam pa kayo. Si Kristo mismo nagsabi, ha? sabi niya, nagpunta ako sa daigdig para tawagin ang makasalanan, hindi yung mga matwid. Kaya pag nakita nyo, mga makasalanan dito, una na yung pare, ha? E matuto kayo magtsaga at magpasensya at magpatawan. At ako man, pag nakikita ko kayo, lalo na pag nakikita ko kung ano-ano ginagawa nyo sa misa, ha? na hindi dapat, ha, ano, sisigaw ako, sa galit, hindi. Magpapasensya na lang ako. Bakit? Mga kapatid. Yan lang ang dahilan. Mga kapatid. Love is patient. Kung di kayo pasensyoso, pasensyosa, hindi pa kayo natututong magmahal. We all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church may proclaim the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Christians' parents may be strengthened to follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Lenten penance may make us more open to God's redeeming love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick who find life difficult may see God's presence through the care and concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promised to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, amen. Almighty Father, grant us the grace to be patient with one another 
so that we may express aptly our love for one another in patience and in perseverance. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, works of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May what we offer you, O Lord, in token of our service be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. Jesus loves us and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have the courage to say our father who, who art, art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Prayer for the elections. Let us pray for the forthcoming elections. May truly reflect the will of the Lord, who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism, deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortions of truth, deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That the conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and the love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. I tell you assuredly, no prophet is accepted in his own country. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He, he has, has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath to swear to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the down from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I tell, I tell you, you assuredly, no, no prophet is accepted in his, his own country. country. Let us pray. Make communion in this your sacrament, we pray, O Lord. Bring with it purification and the unity that is your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4th. 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1st Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website at www.manawakminorbasilica.org for the online Pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors 
will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Kami po ito sa puso ng nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakisa at nagsidalo sa ating pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia na way pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayo pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa mga minamahal niyong mabu mga minamahal niyo sa buhay. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the blessing, by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness, restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.